In today's video, I'm going to show you how to design websites fast using my new product called the Divi Design Guide coming up. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Mac and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to design websites fast using my Divi design guide. So before I get started, let me show you what this guide is and then show you step by step how to build your website. All right. So over here, this is the Divi design guide. These are presets for pretty much the most commonly used modules for Divi. So as you can see here, we have, it comes with a color palette and you also have heading sizes. You also have paragraph text on a dark background and we also have paragraph text on a light background and moving on. We also have notice boxes here, two different styles. And here we also have different styles of blurbs and moving on. These ones here have drop shadows. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of different styles that you can choose from as you design your website. Here we also have image styles. So this one here is the normal type uh, image. This one here is black and white, and this is a sepia tone. And then moving on, we also have these videos that look beautiful. Everything is all designed for you, so you don't have to go in and start designing all your modules from scratch. These are opt-ins, and again, these are all ready for you to use. Some of them great on dark backgrounds, and this one here great on a light background. And moving on, we also have testimonials, and we also have call to actions, and also contact forms. So as you can see, this is all pre-made for you. So in a short while, I'm going to show you how to use this in your own designs. But before we get started, I'd like to remind you that if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, which is in the video description below, you get access to my course called the Web Design Formula. This course teaches you everything that you need to know about web design. All you have to do is to buy Divi using my affiliate link and this will give you access. All right, so let's get started and let me show you how to install it and how to use it. All right, so the very first step is, of course, you want to download the Divi Design Guide. And then the next step is to create a brand new page. So to create a page, you want to come over here to Pages and then click on Add New. Now you want to give this page the name of the guide, okay? So let's just call this uh, Divi Guide. Okay. Okay. Let's call this Divi design guide. Next, I'm going to click here on use Divi builder. Okay, great. So with these three options here, what we need to do is to create everything from scratch. So I'm going to click here on start building, and then I'm just going to close this. The next step now is to add our Divi design guide onto this page. So to do that, I am going to navigate here on my downloads folder. And here it is. And the Divi design guide is here. And this is version one. So I'm going to open this. And you notice that we have K colors and we also have the Divi design guide JSON file. So all you have to do is to click on it and then just drag it onto this space here. And now notice what, what I'm going to do next. And this is very important. You want to replace existing content just in case there's anything on there. But in this case, there's nothing. And you want to click here where it says import presets. Okay, this is very important because this is what imports all the presets that we have. So now I can click on import Divi builder presets. Now this can take a bit of time. So you need to be patient because there's quite a lot of designs that are going to be imported onto this page. Now I highly recommend that when you import these, you leave this page open so that you know which styles you're adding onto your pages. Okay, so as you can see, our design guide has been added and everything looks really cool. So now I can just publish this. And as I mentioned, you want to keep this page on your website because you can use it for reference purposes. Okay, so now that I have this, I can exit the Visual Builder now. And let's start now creating our new pages for our website. So I'm going to start by coming over here to new, and then I'm just going to say new page, but I'm going to open this in a brand new tab. Okay, so now that I have my new tab open, I'm going to close this and then I'm going to name my page. So let's call this Mac page. I'm going to use the Divi Builder. Okay, so for this page, I'm going to design everything from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this. Right, so I'm going to add a single column first because I'm going to add a heading onto the first part of my design here. So I'm going to search for my text module and select it. Next, I am going to add my uh, heading text and this is going to be my heading text. So I'm going to set this to heading one by coming over here. So as you can see, there's no styling onto it. So 
it's fine so far. The next step now is to apply our styles that we've just imported. So now that we have our text settings open, if you click on this drop down, you're going to see all these presets. So you can see here we have heading one. So if you want to go back and take a look and see what heading one looks like, this is what it looks like. So let's go back over here. So we are going to choose heading one and right away you can see I've chosen my header and it's looking nice and big. I haven't even gone in to the design tab to make any changes. Next, I'm going to center this because I'll, I want everything all centered. Great. So now I can save this. All right. So the next step is adding my image. So I'm going to come over here and click on this plus button. And I'm going to go with uh, my two thirds, one third column. And over here, I'm going to add my image. I'm going to select it. And then I'm just going to go to my media library and choose my image. So as you can see, we have quite a few images here. I'm going to go with this one here and upload an image. So as you can see, it's taken on uh, the basic style here, but I can come over here to the top and choose maybe black and white rounded. So I can go ahead and choose that black and white. And as you can see, it looks really, really nice. And again, I haven't gone into the design tab to make any changes there. Okay, so now I can save this. And then over here now, let's say I want to add an opt-in. I can search for my opt-in and there are several styles. So as you can see here, we have the default style, but we don't want that. So I'm going to come over here and choose my light. I'm going to go with this one here. So as you can see here, my opt-in is in there. I can make a few adjustments. Let's say I only want to collect the email. I can then come over here to my fields and disable the first name and the last name. So all I have now is the email. And if I need to make any changes to my text, I can just come over here and just uh, replace this text with my own text. So let's go and use this text here. And we are going to paste it in place just like that. So as you can see, everything is all styled for me. My button is styled. My uh, area here where people add their emails is all styled. So I don't need to go in and do anything. Okay, so let's go ahead and save. So now I have my header here. I have my opt-in and I also have my image. So that's looking great so far. Now let's add another section. So I'm going to click here on this plus button. I'm going to go to regular. And this time I am going to add uh, three blurbs. Okay, so let's search for our blurbs. But what I'm going to do now is I am going to choose blurbs which look great on a dark background. So if I come back over here on my, my, my design guide, I can just go to the section where I have the blurbs and I can see that this one here would look great on a dark background and so will this one here. So I'm going to go back and uh, choose the style. So I'm going to come over here and let me just double check what style it is. So this is blurb number two. So I'm going to choose two. And you can see my style here has been added. All I have to do now is to go in and change my icon, which I'm going to do by coming over here, use icon. And notice, it, as soon as I choose my icon here, it's going, to, it's going to have the sizes that I need and everything is going to be in place. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my icon. And, and as you can see, this looks beautiful. All right, great. So now I can go ahead and save. So the next step now is to add color to this background. So I'm going to come over here. So you may have your own colors that you may want to use. So it's up to you what you're going to use here. So if I go in and add my color like that, you can see here we have a distinction between the two. So you can go ahead and use it this way. So I'm going to save that. Now, if I want to have a few of these, I can just duplicate this a few times and then just drag this into position like that. And let's do it one more time. Drag this into position. There we go. OK, now the text, when it comes to the text in here, you can always go in and reduce the text because this may be a bit too much. Now, as I'm looking at this, I may also want to add some description text here. So let's go ahead and add that. So I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to copy a short paragraph. And uh, let me search for my text module here, add it. And you can see here we have our standard text. Now I can go in and paste my text and I can also now go to my presets here and choose my paragraph, but I want it light. In fact, I need it dark. <laughs> what am I talking about? There we go. So now I have my, my text here. I can center it. 
And if I need to go in and further customize this, because I may be looking at this thinking, okay, mm, maybe this is a bit too small. So what you can do is you can go in and you can still increase the size. So let's go ahead and increase the size so you can see how easy it is to really customize this. So as you can see, I've increased my size and I've just added this on top of the preset that I have. But as you can see, I haven't gone in and done so many changes all over the place. I've just gone in and did one particular thing. Okay, so now that I have this, I can reduce the line height or I can increase it if I want to, but I think it looks great like that. So I'm gonna save that. Okay, so there's one thing that I noticed here and that is it's not aligned. So let me just go back in and align everything. So I'm gonna come over here to sizing and just center it, just like that. Okay, now we have a bit of space here. So we may want to go in and add bit of space just like that now that looks much better so as you can see i've just added my heading here my description text i've also added my image and my opt-in and then over here we have our blurbs which now we can go in and change those icons so i'm going to come over here to image an icon let's change this icon to perhaps maybe this one here save that i'm going to come over here change this icon and we're going to change this to what can we go with let's go with the light bulb okay great so now that i have this part all designed there's also another thing that also comes with this divi design guide and that is if you come over here on the section settings if i click on the presets you're going to notice that we are going to have this uh, section padding so if you go ahead and select that this is going to apply a bit of padding on your sections okay so you want to go in and do that so now I'm going to save and now you see we have beautiful uh, space here as we're designing our site. Okay, so moving on, let's say you want to add even more items. So let's go ahead and add a regular section. And this time we're going to add some testimonials. So I'm going to go ahead and add my three columns here. And this time I'm going to go back and see what sort of uh, testimonial styles I have by just scrolling all the way down here. And it looks like... Uh, I am going to go with my standard one, which is this one here, testimonial number one. So I'm going to go back over here and add my testimonial. And I'm going to go with style number one. There we go. So that's going to be my style. Now, all I have to do is to go in and add my image. So I'm going to come over here to image and choose my image just like that. And now you can see my image has been added and now I can save. So all I have to do now is to go in and adjust my text here to reflect this testimonial that I have. But let's say you want to have a different style. Uh, all you have to do is to, just to save us time, I'm just gonna duplicate what we have here, okay? And just drag it over here in place. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the settings and now I can go here and choose a different preset, okay? So let's see what preset we have. So this is preset number two. So let's go ahead and choose this one here. And now you can see it has a drop shadow and the style of the image has also changed. So this is the power of these presets. So now all I have to do is to duplicate one more time and drag this over here just to balance everything on the page. So as you can see, it is very easy for us now to build our pages really, really fast because we have all these presets in place. So this could work as a sales page and this has saved you quite a lot of time going in and uh, customizing all these different uh, modules as you're building your site. Now, as you look at this, you may be thinking, okay, so what if I need to make other adjustments and uh, perhaps maybe change the total style of this? So let's do this to this middle one here. So I'm gonna click here on this gear icon. So the style I'm gonna go with is, let me just go ahead and check one more time. So let's go with blurb number one, style number one, okay? So I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna go with this one here. And as you can see right away, this has changed the design of my blurb. So I can save that. And now we have a totally different design. So all I have to do now is to go in and change my text. But of course, for this example here, I am going to just leave everything as it was because it looks much better this way. So you have all your paragraph text, you have all your headers, you have your images, all styled for you. Now let's go ahead and add one more thing here. And that is, we are going to add a box here, which has a message. So let's go ahead and choose text. 
And again, I'm going to come over here and go to notice number one. And now you can see here we have our main notice there. And if we want, we can add our call to action. And let's add it right away, right below that as well. So I'm going to click here on this plus button. And let's add our button module like that. Now I'm just going to go back over here and take a look at my button styles. And the one I'm going to go with is, uh, let's go with uh, number six. Okay, so I'm going to come over here click on the default and then I'm going to choose button plus icon two. There we go. I'm really happy with that. So all I have to do is to center it, which I can do by coming over here, alignment and then center it. So that's going to be my call to action. And uh, you can also change the text here of the call to action itself. And you can say download here or something. There we go. Save that. And now we have this easy, quick page, which we've just created really fast using our Divi design guide. So as you can see, it's very, very easy to use. Now, there's one part I also forgot to show you, and that is how to add the color palette, because you also want to use uh, the color palette as you're designing your site. So I'm going to show you in a moment how to add that. So I'm going to exit the Visual Builder here so that we can take a look at our page. So now here's our page. We have our heading here. Now, you may have noticed that uh, our opt-in form here has gone and that is because you need to connect your opt-in form to your email service provider okay but then again moving down here you can see we have our beautiful blurbs here and then moving down we also have our testimonials and uh, again we have our call to action button and it has a hover effect here as well as this area here which have our main message so as you can see here this is very very easy to uh, put together now let me show you how to add the color palette okay so to do that you want to come over here to dashboard and then you want to come all the way down here to theme options you want to click here on um, import and export click on import choose the file and the file we're going to go with is in our downloads folder so let's go to our downloads and you know this DV Design Guide Pro version 1, that folder has K colors. So you want to click on that and click on open. Click on import theme builder options. So now this is going to import all our colors, which means this DV Design Guide will be consistent with the colors that come with this style guide. Okay, so pretty much that's all I have for you in today's video. So as you can see, you can design pages really, really fast. You don't have to go in and spend so much time trying to customize all your uh, designs and uh, all your modules, everything is all done for you. And if you're not happy with the colors and you want to make a few tweaks, at least you've got a very good foundation to start making all your tweaks to this design guide. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. But doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.